Hello everybody! My name is Sora, and welcome back to part 2 of the Essential Craft 3 Mod Showcase. And now I think I'll just start off with this part with a part I forgot to cover last time. Radiation. Now, here, this is called the radiating chamber. And naturally, because it's radiating, it gives off radiation. This radiation is bad for us, so... Let's see if I can't, uh... Find a, uh... uh okay, a diamond and an emerald. Another part I forgot to mention, guys, uh, for the rating chamber. Every recipe has an upper balance threshold and a lower balance threshold. If the balance is either above or below this, the crafting will not work. Now, guys, I'm going. To, I'm doing this to show you uh, what happens when you're doing this without any armor to protect you. As you can see, you're getting some MRU corruption. Now let's get a stack of diamonds and a stack of emeralds. Oh, the emeralds and voila. Now let's check our stuff here. Uh, okay, neutral energies, pure and untouched. 32,669. But still, guys, uh, in the beginning, it's not so bad, but the more and more you get uh, exposed to it, the worse the effects come. I mean, the worse the effects become. And yeah, basically, once it hits a certain point, you'll start getting de debuffs on you, and that'll and you might even get poison or something else that's bad. I haven't really tested it out all that much, but yeah, basically that's what's going to happen. And over that, let's go back into game mode one, and I will show you the rest of the stuff I have done. So now. I found a block that has a little bit of story to it, a bit of the storyline to it. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what is what it is, okay? I'm just going to show you the block. This is the crystal former. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to make put a bound gem in here that was bound to the exporter. And I've actually found that is actually full, so. I okay, guys, I'm back, and I just finished. Uh, upgrading the enrichment chamber and now you'll see that it's black now why is it black I use the top tier plating myth mithrilin plating to give it the most resistance against corruption and I also expanded it outwards so now it can hold well basically the same amount so I guess basically what I did was nothing but now, onto the crystal former. What you do in here is, I already put the bound jib in here, and now, and I also cleared some of that out. Uh, right here is where you need three buckets of water. And then you need two glass in the middle slot and a diamond on top. And then it will take a whole lot of, of energy, as you can see here, and put a bad potion effect on you, MRU Corruption and start working on creating the next tier of MRU generation. 
Let's see if it's working now. Okay, it made a crystal. Where is it? Okay, guys, I have tried it again, and I am not leaving until it is done. And there it is, the elemental crystal. And it's actually too small for you to see, but it is there. And now let us put it down here. And then let's put the extra in the chest. And yeah, you can see that it's actually doing something. It's actually growing, I believe. Let's do a toggle downfall. And time set day. Just to see if we can't see it a little bit better. Let's put the when fuse. And then, yeah, we play the waiting game with this crystal. But in the meantime, uh, I'll be right back. I have to study something. I missed some stuff on this, on the crystals. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I finished reading it. It was very short. Uh, in other words, there are two more blocks I need. The crystal controller and the crystal extractor. I'm putting the crystal controller right here and the extractor right here. And then, yeah, I need a bound gem. Right here, and then this goes there, supplied with MRU, size 7%, and it tells you what elements affect it. Now, here, okay, I also need a bound gem. Uh, let me read that again real quick. Okay, yeah. This also needs MRU as well. And this basically will start extracting stuff from the crystal once it's fully formed. And, oh, you can actually see it now. You can actually see it. Look at that. Look at that. An elemental crystal. So, how do we affect it? Essence. Okay. E. Essence. I would like fire. Mm, actually. Ooh. Let's actually put this in here. Well, wait, no. Let's put common in first. Okay, I see. So it gives it a 2% chance of that, but with this, all 16% is 8% chance. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. But these three blocks all you need for a new power source. The reactor support, reactor core, and magic blocking, putting block. It's all in this. But I'll tell you how to do it, guys, next time. See you later.